How you feeling, Berto? You were here in the gym, man? Yeah, I mean, man, uh, we're working. What, what, what's next round there, Berto? Man, we're staying ready. We got a uh, big 2017 coming up. Um, you know, everybody on the PBC card, you know, got their phone call and let us know that everybody's fighting everybody. It ain't no cakewalks next year. And I think this last card that they just had was the first, was the first installment of it. Yeah, as you can see, the Charlo boys, yep. you know, fought, and uh, you know, Barres fought. You know, these are fights that people been wanting to see for a while, and they making them happen. You know what I'm saying? And we want to get, keep getting paid how we getting paid. Now, you know, we got, uh, I mean, they put us in the fire, so. It's either you gonna get burnt, or you're gonna rise to the occasion. Yeah. So, any names that you want, or are you taking on any, any coming right yeah, now? Man, and like I said, the one way the is packed, so. It don't matter to me at all. You know, I believe that um, with that last performance, you know, let people know that you know, they can't sleep on the kid, bro. And, and they gotta, they gotta understand that you know, I'm still somebody who bitches the record with. In 2017, we coming for their hard work. Whoever got it, whoever got it, we coming for those belts. That's it. What you think of the Charlos, Charlo brother, uh, Kamal? Got yeah. a knockout over Julian Williams. Yeah, man, he looked good, man. He looked sharp. And I spoke to him a few times, you know, yeah, during camp. And I see how focused he was. And, you know, he was sending me videos of some of his workouts. Like, he was really beasting that camp, man. Because he, uh, you know, you got a fighter like that that's so determined, you know, especially there to prove the point. You know, you know, especially, you know, somebody has been calling him out for so long. You know, and at the same time, like I say, the man has kids, and he got a reputation to try to uphold. He got an undefeated record to try to uphold. So you gotta get ready for, you gotta get ready for, you gotta get ready for whatever, you gotta get ready for war. And that's what he did. You know, so I respect the man, and I give him most props. And, and he made a big statement that night. He came, he was focused, he was determined, and he wasn't gonna let nobody or nothing deny him that night. And I like that. I like that.